Hey guys, so today I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite projects, making a swimsuit. Some of the supplies you will be needing are, first, your fashion fabric. Obviously this isn't all the fabric I'm using, but this is the kind of fabric that I'm using. It has 10% lycra in it, and lycra is spandex, so don't get those two confused. They are the same thing. Um, you want about 10% or more if you're going to be making a swimsuit. So I have that. I got this fabric from Etsy. And then I also have my lining, which is pretty much the same fabric. I just got this at Joann's, and it's white. You can also get it in black or even a nude color. So whatever your preference is. And then I got, um, for the cups for your swimsuit, if you're a girl, obviously you're going to need cups for your bra. I just got a bra from Walmart. I made sure at the store that the cups were removable so I can just remove them and use them for my swimsuit and then I have this left over. Another thing that you're going to need is the cotton swimwear elastic. It is swimwear because it has been chlorine treated and I got the 3 8 inch wide which should be perfect for making any swimsuit. So get that size. Another thing that you are going to want to make sure to have are some stretch needles and I just got these at Joann's as well and first you're going to need a single needle. Both of these needles are just something very important for when you are sewing with knits or anything that stretches. This is going to help so um, the needle doesn't cause a run in your fabric and it just works a lot better with the knit fabric and the stretchy fabric. The other thing you're going to need is a twin needle that stretch so make sure you get one of those as well. That is about all. Other than that, you will just need your sewing machine and all your other sewing materials. So let's get started. So our first step is going to be cutting out the lining. You want to cut out the lining before your fabric because then you can try on the lining and the lining is a lot cheaper fabric so if you mess up and it doesn't fit or something's wrong, you can cut it out again and it won't be as big of a deal as using your $20 per yard fabric. So I actually already cut mine out, but I want to show you how I cut it out. Um, I don't use regular scissors, but I'm just going to use mine as a weight to hold it down. If you watched my other video on the shorts, you saw that I used a rot rotary cutter to cut out my fabric. It's a lot easier and a lot cleaner of a cut, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to use a couple different things as my weights. And for mine, I actually want this part right here to be on the fold. So I'm not going to cut right here, I would just fold this over when I've cut all that out and then I'll do it on this side as well. And the same for my front piece, um, you can see that I have the center fold right here, so that's where I'm going to put it. So here I have all of the pieces of my lining cut out and I've actually basted all of them together so that I could try it on and see how it fits. So all I did was I set my machine um, to a 5 on the length. And then I sewed both sides, the sides, and then I sewed the shoulders. And you can see on mine that I actually didn't make it long enough, so I added some fabric, which I don't really think I'm going to mind. And now when you're doing the lining is the time where you want to figure out if, you're, if you need to add or shorten or do whatever you need. So whatever you do to this, you're going to want to make sure to do to your pattern pieces. So that way, when you're doing it on your um, fashion fabric, that you will cut it out the right way. You're just going to want to try it on. Make sure it fits right. Make sure you like the fit. It might be um, a little looser, and especially in the neckline, I find that it hangs a little lower than it will when it's finished. So don't worry as much about that. Just worry about the length, and if it's too tight, um, that's what you're going to want to worry about. So then when you're done trying it on, you're going to take out that basting so that way we can stitch it to our fashion fabric after we have cut it out. Once you've made all the adjustments to your pattern piece, you are now ready to cut out your fashion fabric. So I'm going to cut out my back first and just like we did with the lining, I just have it laid down on my cutting mat and I have a couple weights. I don't own actual weights so I just use whatever I have around. And then I'm going to use my rotary cutter. So I'm just going to start cutting along. And 
And here I have the front piece and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the back piece to the front piece. After I have all the pieces cut out, I am now ready to start sewing them together. So what I'm first going to do is I have, this is my front piece of my fashion fabric and then I also have my front piece of my lining and I have my fashion fabric with the right side facing down and I'm just going to put my lining right on top of it with the wrong side um, to the wrong side. So wrong sides together. Um, on your lining you might not be able to tell. I can only tell because I have that seam right there. So I want the seam on the inside so it's not rubbing against my body. So if you have anything like that, that's what you're going to want to do. So I'm just going to line it up with my fabric and I'm just going to pin all the way around my whole swimming suit, the whole front piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with the back piece as well. And now we're going to do the exact same thing to the back piece. Once you are done pinning the lining to the fashion fabric, you're now ready to sew it on. And we're just going to use a zigzag stitch all the way around the edge. You're not going to want to go um, over half of an inch. So anything in between an eighth to a half is fine. You're going to want to stay in that area. And this will just sew the two pieces together and make sure they're sturdy and strong and really nice. So I just set my machine to a four and then I actually adjusted it so it's a little bit longer of a stitch so it doesn't take a ton of thread. Um, we're going to stitch all the way around except for one thing and that is the neckline. You're not going to want to stitch right around here because we're going to put the bra cups in later. Um, so just don't stitch, pretty much just don't stitch from the top of the shoulder um, all the way to around the other side and whatever type of neckline you have on your swimming suit that's what you're going to want to do so we can put those broad cups in later. So just do everything else and do this on the front and the back all the way around. Once all my edges are sewn with the zigzag all the way around except for the neckline, all I've done is I've put um, my front and back, pinned them right sides together at the shoulder seams, so right here, and at the side seams. So I've done that on both sides and on the shoulder seams. And now I'm going to stitch them together. To sew my side seams and my shoulder seams together, I'm just going to use my serger. If you don't have a serger, you can use a straight stitch machine. Just use um, two rows of zigzag stitching. For the serger, I'm just using one needle, so it's three threads, and that is going to work a lot better when sewing with knits. Once you have all those seams sewn, you should now try it on and make sure it's still fitting right and you like the way it looks on your body. And we're also going to do the bra cups next. So all I did was I took these bra cups out of the bra that I got from Walmart and I'm going to place them in between my lining and my fashion fabric. Because we left that open, I'm going to place them there and position them while I have the swimsuit on and I'm going to pin the bra cup to the lining where it fits right and just where I like it. So do that while you're trying it on. Here is an example of what my bra cups look like after I pinned them in. I was wearing it when I pinned it in so that way you get it exactly where you want it because every breast size is different and position is different. So this will help you to customize it the way you want it to fit. So all I did was I pinned them in between the lining and the fashion fabric. 
So now we are ready to sew the bra cups in. We are going to do a zigzag stitch again. So whichever zigzag stitch you have been using, we'll do that again. I will probably be using um, the number four on my machine. This would be the inside of my swimsuit. So where my skin would be laying would be right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew as close as I can to the edge of the bra cup and all the way around. I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch all the way around that and making sure my fashion fabric stays out of the way because we do not want to sew that down. After the cups are sewn in, I like to actually cut this lining out so that my skin isn't rubbing against that. Instead, it's touching the cups. So I'm just going to start cutting around the edges. Make sure if you do this, you don't have to, but if you do, don't cut your stitches or the bra cup. Now the bra cups are all ready to go. So you might wanna go and try it on again. I know there's lots of trying on again and again, but that'll really help to make the best swimsuit possible and make sure that it fits you right. So just make sure you're constantly trying it on and always seeing if you like the fit and how it's working out for you. Next, what I am going to do is I'm going to do that zigzag stitch all the way around the neckline and just close that seam up 